listeners live broadcast of the proceedings from the sai kulvant hall at prashanti nilayam will follow shortly please stay tuned సైరాం మరికొద్దిసేపట్లో ప్రశాంతి నిలయంలోని సాయి కుల్వంత్ సభామండపం నుండి ప్రత్యక్ష ప్రసారాలను మీరు వింటారు దయచేసి వేచి ఉండండి
ಪರಿಭುಜ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಅಸ್ವಾಯುಧಾಯಷ್ಣವೇ ಉಭಾಭ್ಯಾತೆ ನಮೋ ಬಾಹುಭ್ಯ ತವ ಧನ್ವನೆ ಪರಿ ಧನ್ವನೋ ಹೇತಿರಸ್ಮನ್ ವೃಣಕ್ತ ವಿಶ್ವ ಅಧೋಯ ಇಷುಧಿಸ್ತವಾರೆ ಅಸ್ಮನ್ನಿಧೇಹಿತ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಅಸ್ತು ಭಗವನ್ ವಿಶ್ವೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಮಹಾದೇವಾಯ ಭಗಾಯ ತ್ರಿಪುರಾಗಾಯ ಕಾಲಾಗ್ನಿರುದ್ರಾಯ ನೀಲಕಂಠಾಯ ಮೃತ್ಯುಂಜಯ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಸದಾ ಶಿವಾಯ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ಮಹಾದೇವಾಯ ನಮಃ ನಮೋ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಬಾಘವೇಸೇನಾ ದಿಶಾ ಚ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ವೃಕ್ಷೇಭ್ಯೋ ಹರಿಕೇಶೇಭ್ಯ ಪಶೂನಾ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಸಸ್ಪಿಂಚರಾಗ್ಯತ್ವಿಷೆ ಮತೆ ಪಥೇನಾ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಪಬ್ಲುಷಾಯ ವಿವ್ಯಾಧಿ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಹರಿಕೇಶ ಪವೇದಿ ಪುಷ್ಟಾ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಭೇತ್ಯೈ ಜಗತ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ರುದ್ರಾಯ ತಿನೆ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಸೂತಾಯ ಹಂತ್ಯ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ರೋಗಿ ಸಪತಗೆ ವೃಕ್ಷಾ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಮಂತ್ರಿಣೆ ವಾಣಿ ಜಾಯ ಕಕ್ಷಾ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಭುವಂತೇ ವಾರಿ ವಸ್ಕೃತೌಷಧಿ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಉಚ್ಚೈರ್ಘೋಷಾ ಕ್ರಂತಯತೆ ಪತ್ತೆ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವೇದ ಯಥಾವತೆ ಸತ್ವ ಪತಗೆ ನಮಃ ನಮಸ್ಸಗಮಾ ವ್ಯಾಧಿ ಆವ್ಯಾಧಿ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಕಕುಭಾಯ ನಿಶಂಗಿಣಿ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ನಿಶಂಗಿಣ ಇಷುಧಿ ಮತೆ ತಸ್ಕರ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ವಂಚತೆ ಪರಿವಂಚತೆ ಸಾಯೂನ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ನಿಚೇರ ವೇ ಪರಿಚರಾಯ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಶೃಕಾ ವಿಭ್ಯೋ ಶಿಕಾಗುಂ ಸದ್ಯೋ ಮುಷ್ಣ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಶ್ರೀಮಧ್ಯೋ ನಕ್ತ ಶರದ್ಯ ಪ್ರಗೃಂತ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಗುಷ್ಣೇಶಿಣೆ ಗಿರಿಚರಾಯ ಕುಲುಂಚಾ ಪತಗೆ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಇಷುಮಧ್ಯೋ ಧನ್ವಾ ವಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಆತನ್ವಾಭ್ಯ ಪ್ರತಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಆಯಚ್ಛದ್ಯೋ ವಿಸೃಜ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಸ್ಯೋ ವಿದ್ಯಭ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಆಸೇನೆಭ್ಯ ಶಯಾನೆಭ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಸ್ವಪದ್ಯೋ ಜಾಗ್ರಭ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಸೃಷ್ಟಭ್ಯೋ ಧಾವಭ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಸಭಾಭ್ಯ ಸಭಾಪತಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಅಶ್ವೇಭ್ಯೋ ಸ್ವಪದಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮಃ ನಮ ಆವ್ಯಾಧಿಭ್ಯೋ ವಿವಿಧ್ಯಂತ್ರೇಭ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಉಗಣಾಭ್ಯ ತ್ರಿಗುಂಹದೇಭ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಗೃತ್ಸೇಭ್ಯೋ ಗೃತ್ಸಪತಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ವ್ರಾತೇಭ್ಯೋ ವ್ರಾತಪತಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಗಣೇಭ್ಯೋ ಗಣಪತಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ವಿಶ್ವೇಭ್ಯೋ ವಿಶ್ವೇಭ್ಯ 
शिवाय शिवतराय च नम तीर्थ्याय चोल्याय च नम पार्याय च नम प्रतरणाय चोत्तरणाय च नम आताय जालाध्याय च नम शष्प्याय चेन्याय च नम सिगत्याय च प्रवाख्याय च नम गिण्याय च प्रपथ्याय च नम गुंशिलाय चयनाय च नम कपर्दिने पुलस्तगे च नमो गोष्ठ्याय चृख्याय च नम स्तल्याय चेख्याय च नम काठ्याय जगत्वरेष्ठाय च नमो हृदय्याय च निवेश्याय च नम पागुंधव्याय च रजस्याय च नम शुष्क्याय च हरिताय च नमो लोप्याय चोलप्याय च नम ओर्व्याय च सोर्म्याय च नम पर्याय च वर्णसध्याय च नमो पगुरमाणाय चाभिघ्नते च नम आखिदते च प्रखिदते च नमो वक्केभ्यो देवाग हृदयभ्यो नमो वीक्षिणकेभ्यो नमो विचिन्वत्केभ्यो नम आर्हतेभ्यो नम आमी वत्केभ्य द्रापे अंधसस्पते दरिद्रनीलोहिता शिवातनो शिवा विश्वा कभेशजे शिवा रुद्रस्य भेशजे तया नो मृड जीव से इमागुं रुद्राय तवसे कपर्दिने क्षयद्वेराय प्रभरा महे मतिं यथानश्यम सद्विपदे चतुष्पदे विश्वं बुष्टंग्रामे गस्मिन्ननादुरं मृडानो रुद्रो तनो मयस्कृदि क्षयद्वेराय नमसा विधे मते यमुरादश्यामतवरुद्र प्रणीत मानो मका मुद मानो अर्भक मन उक्ष मुद मन उक्षित मानो वधे पिदर मोत मतर प्रिया मनस्तनु वो रुद्रेष मानस्तोकेतन ये मन आयुषि मानो गोषु मानो अश्वेशुरेष वीरान्मानो रुद्र भाधेर्विष्मो नम साधे मते आराते गोघ्न मुत पुरुषग्ने क्षयद्वेराय सुम नमस्मे ते अस्त रक्षा जनो अति चेव ब्रूह्य था जन शर्म युहा सुहिश्रुतंगतम युवान मृगन्न भीम मुपहद्रुमुग्रम मृडा जरिद्रे रुद्रस्तवानो गण्यन्ते अस्मन्निव बंतु सेना परिणो रुद्रस्य हेत व्रणक्तु परित्वेशस्य दुर्मति रखायो अवस्तिराम कबध्यत्तनुष्वमीड्वस्तो कायतनयाय मृडया मीठुष्टम शिवतम शिवो नस्सुमना भवा परमे वृक्ष आयुधन निदाय कृत्यम वसा नमाचर पिनाक विभ्रता कही विकिद विलोकित नमस्ते अस्त भगव यास्ते सहस्रगुमे तोन्यमस्मिव बंधुता सहस्राणी सहस्रता बाकुवोत्सव हे तय शानो भगव पराचे ना मुखाकृदे सहस्राणि सहस्रशो ये रुद्रा अति भूम्या 
ಪೇಶಾಗುಂದಗಸ್ರಯೋಜನೆ ಬದನ್ಮಾನಿ ತನ್ಮಸೆ ಅಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಮಹತ್ಯರ್ನವೇಂತರಿಕ್ಷೆ ಭವ ಅಧೇ ನೀಲಗ್ರೇವಾಶ್ಯತಿ ಕಂಠಾ ಶರ್ವಾ ಅಧ ಕ್ಷಮಾಚರಾ ನೀಲಗ್ರೇವಾಶ್ಯತಿ ಕಂಠಾ ದಿವಗುಂ ರುದ್ರ ಉಪಶ್ರಿತ ಏ ವೃಕ್ಷೇಷು ಸಸ್ಪಿಂಜರಾ ನೀಲಗ್ರೇವಾ ವಿರೋಹಿತ ಏ ಭೂತಾಧಿಪತೋ ವಿಶಿಖಾಸಕ್ಕಬರ್ದಿನ ಏ ಅನ್ನು ವಿಧ್ಯಂತಿ ಪಾತ್ರು ಪಿಪದೋ ಜನಾನ ಏ ಪಥಾಪತಿರಕ್ಷಯ ಐಲಪ್ರತಾಯುಧ ಏ ತೀರ್ಥಾ ಪ್ರಚಲಂತೆ ಸೃಗಾವಂತೋ ನಿಶಂಗಿಣ ಯಗೇತಾವಂದಸ್ಥೋಯಾಗುಂದಶ್ಚಿಶೋ ರುದ್ರಾವಿತಸ್ಥಿರೆ ತೇಜಾಗುಂದಹಸ್ರಯೋಜನೆ ಪದನ್ಮಾನಿ ತನ್ಮಸೆ ನಮೋ ರುದ್ರೇಭ್ಯೋ ಯೇ ಪೃಥಿವ್ಯಾಕ್ಷೇ ದಿವ್ಯೇಷಾವನ್ ಪಾತೋ ಭರುಷಮಿಷಪಸ್ತೆಭ್ಯೋ ದಶ ಪ್ರಾಚೀರ್ದಶ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ದಶ ಪ್ರತಿಚೀರ್ದಶೋತಿಚೀರ್ದಶೋರ್ಧ್ವಾಸ್ತೆಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ನೋ ಮೃಡಯಂತು ತೇಯಂ ಭೋಜಂ ದಾಮಿ ತ್ರಂಬಕಂ ಯಜಾಮಹೆ ಸುಗಂಧಿಂ ಪುಷ್ಟಿವರ್ಧನ ಉರ್ವಾರುಕಮಿಬಂಧನಾತ್ಯೋರ್ಮುಕ್ಷೇಯಮಾಮೃತ ಯೋ ರುದ್ರೋ ಅಗ್ನೋ ಅಪ್ಸುಯ ಓಷಧೀಷು ಯೋ ರುದ್ರೋ ವಿಶ್ವಾಭುವನಾ ವಿವೇಶ ತಸ್ಮೈ ರುದ್ರಾಯ ನಮೋ ಅಸ್ತು ಸಹಸ್ರಮಯುತ ಪಾಶಾ ಮೃತ್ಯೋ ಮರ್ತ್ಯಾಯ ಹಂತವೇ ತಾನ್ಯಜ್ಞಸ ಮಾಯಯಾ ಸರ್ವಾನವಯಜಾಮಹೆ ಮೃತ್ಯವೇ ಸ್ವಾ ಮೃತ್ಯವೇ ಸ್ವಾ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಗ್ರಂಥಿರಸಿರುದ್ರೋ ಮಾ ವಿಶಾಂತ ನಮೋ ರುದ್ರಾಯ ವಿಷ್ಣವೇ ಮೃತ್ಯರ್ಮೇ ಪಾಹಿ ತಮುಷ್ಟು ಯಶುಷಸ್ಸು ಜನ್ಮಾಯೋ ವಿಶ್ವಸ್ಯ ಕ್ಷಯತಿ ಭೇಷಜಸ ಯಕ್ಷ್ವಾಹೇಸೋ ಮನಸಾಯ ರುದ್ರನ್ ನಮೋ ಭೇದೇವ ಮಸುರಂದು ಅಯಂ ಮೇ ಹಸ್ತೋ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಅಯಂ ಮೇ ಭಗವತ್ತರ ಅಯಂ ಮೇ ವಿಶ್ವೇ ಸಜೋಯಗುಂ ಶಿವಾಭಿಮರುಷಣ ಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಜಾಭ್ಯ ಪರಿಪಾಲಯಂತ ನ್ಯಾ ಮಾರ್ಗೇಣ ಮಹೀ ಮಹೀಷಾ ಗೋ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣೇಭ್ಯ ಶುಭಮಸ್ತು ನಿತ್ಯ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಲೋಕಾ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಲೋಕಾ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಲೋಕಾ ಸುಖಿನೋ
happy, happy, happy. Always be happy. Is all are happy. God will be happy. Dearest Swami, you accord this for every birthday of yours. On behalf of the thousands assembled here and the millions whose hearts beat for you, we offer ourselves at your lotus feet. The relationship between God and devotee is inseparable. The bird with you, the wings with me. The foot with you, the way with me. The eye with you, the form with me. The thing with you, the dream with me. The world with you, the heaven with me. So are we free and so are we bound. So we begin and so we end. You in me. And I in you. Kaisa ye bandhan meri sai ke sang jannon se juda ho na jaye khatam.
माधवा The ultimate reservoir of all the love in the world took the form of the Prema Vatara to unite this fragmented world under the universal canopy of one caste of humanity and one religion of love.
dearest Swami, in all this weakness, you always exude. You told us, the very name of Sai confers on you the ultimate peace. Think of Sai and hold him in your hearts. The majestic trees nod in affirmation of the same. The jubilant birds chirp to remind us of the same. The elegant flowers disseminate their fragrance, spreading the sweetness of Sai's name. And then, Swami, you beautifully added, Sai is not just a name. Sai is the divine principle that resides in all hearts. To that Hridaya Vasi, we offer ourselves. Pudamiki Sari Madhya Putta Parthi Pudamiki Sari Madhya Putta Parthi Anaga Atma Vidya Linde Avatarinche Vishwamana Bakoti Vijnana Mundanga Vishwamana Bakoti Vijnana Mundanga Vishwavidya Alayam Bichata Velase Sarva Dharma Prema Shantulu Sarva Dharma Prema Shantulu Jagati Ki Chati Chappagabuni Sai Prabhu Jagadiki Chati Chappagabuni Sai Prabhu Sai Prabhu Karuna, Karuna, 
ask us students do you like swami or do you love swami and we would reply immediately we love you swami we love you you would then respond with the most profound message bangaru to love me is walking in my footsteps and following my teachings dear lord we fervently pray to you to give us the strength to follow you we love you sai we love you baba much more than words can say Sai we love you baba 
much more than words can say. Make this moment eternal. We don't ask for more. We love you, Sai. We love you, Baba. Much more than words can say. Make this moment eternal. We don't ask for more. Heart to heart. Love to love. Scriptures describe your form as the inconceivable. Anoraniyan, mahato mahiyan. You, in this beautiful composition of yours, proclaim to the world that even Lord Brahma cannot comprehend you in entirety. And yet, you incarnated as the loving form of Sai. To give us the message, sing my name. Sing my glory. O oh Lord, please help us to hold on to your lotus feet. Teliagatarama Narulu Kanuganavasama.
whom can i rely upon to sail me across this stormy whirlpool of life in whose loving embrace can i find refuge who else can the entire world turn to in search of true happiness kaun hai wo haan ji kaun hai wo and from the depths of our hearts resonates the answer pyar hai sai ka pyar hai wo dearest swami it is the magnetism of your unconditional love which draws all of us to your lotus feet and today thousands have assembled here in your darbar to revel in the beauty of sai ke pyar ki surat baya nahi hoti
जिसने मेरी दुश्मनी को प्यार किया कौन है जिसने मेरे घुटते हुए अरमानों को एक हरकत दी कौन है जिसने मुखलिसी मुझसे छिना कर मुझे आबाद किया कौन है जिसने खुद को पामा किया और मुझे बरकत दी आजी वो कौन है वो कौन है वो कौन है वो कौन है कौन है वो कौन है वो कौन है वो कौन है प्यार है वो प्यार है वो प्यार खुदा का साई के प्यार की
तव वचनम मधुरम चरितम मधुरम हसितम मधुरम हृदय मधुरम हे मधुराधिपते स्वीट आर योर वर्ड्स स्वीट आर योर लीलास स्वीट इज योर लाफ्टर स्वीट इज योर हार्ट जस्ट थिंकिंग ऑफ फ्यू कैन सूद एंड मेक एनी वन स्माइल फॉर मी मिलियंस ऑफ हार्ट्स बीट फॉर यू डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स on this 98th birthday of our sai shwara please join us immerse in the nectarous name of shri sai shwaram sapra roopa salutations to the one who pervades the entire universe parabrahma swarupa shri satya sai salutations to the one who resides in each one of our hearts hriday vasi shri satya sai salutations to the eternal charioteer sanatana sarthi shri satya sai who has come to establish satya dharma shanti prema ahimsa as the main spring of our lives on the occasion of the 98th year of divine advent we pray to you bhagwan for your constant sannidhi to bless us with the worthiness 
of always being near and dear to you. This auspicious morning, we have two of our esteemed elders addressing the August gathering. The first speaker is Sri S.S. Naganand Garu, member Sri Satya Sai Central Trust, followed by Sri Nimish Pandya Garu, All India President, Sri Satya Sai Seva Organizations India, and the Vice Chairman of Sri Satya Sai Global Council. We now invite Sri S.S. Naganand Garu to address the August gathering. Sri S.S. Naganand Sai Ram. Most revered and loved Swami Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba, we are elders, my fellow trustees, students, devotees gathered in the holy precincts of Prashanti Nilayam Sai Kulvant Hall in the immediate presence of Bhagavan and the lakhs and millions of people all over the world who are eagerly watching, enjoying, and feeling transposed into this Swami's Sannidhi, I bring you greetings and wish you all Sai Ram on this very holy and auspicious day. My task is to welcome all of you and also to make a few presentations about the activities of the Sri Satya Sai Central Trust. I was just thinking as to how I would welcome somebody to their own home. Now all of us have experienced the love of our parents. Whenever the son or the daughter is away from home, the mother firstly and then the father are thinking, what is the child doing? And if the child comes half an hour late, the mother will be very eagerly standing at the doorstep to say, what happened, son? Are you all right? What happened to my daughter? Are you okay? And embraces them and welcomes them here. Baba is our father, mother and everything. So those of us who have experienced the love of Baba here physically know that every time, that every time one of us or some of us came here or all of us came here, Swama, Swami would always wait for us, look at us, give us that twinkle in the eye, smile. Even if you are sitting in the middle of the hall, it doesn't matter, you are going to get connected to Baba. And that was a welcome which Swami was giving to all of us here. So how can I welcome you to your own home is a question. The only situation in which one would eagerly welcome somebody home is all of us know the parable of the prodigal son in the Bible, where the son moves away and adopts means which are not correct, but the father and the mother will always be waiting for him to reform himself and to come back into the fold. With open arms, they welcome him, excuse him for everything and say, this is your home, welcome back. So this is how I'm welcoming all of you back to Prashanti Nilayam on this holy and auspicious day. A little more than one hour, we have been transposed by the fantastic, wonderful, moving, great music performance, the Guru Vandana. Kya Bandhan Hai Sai Ke Sang is a very loaded question as to what is our connection with Swami? What is this Bandhan that we have with Swami? Is it possible to explain it? And the Kavali tried to explain it by saying that it is Swami everything and anything and everything is Swami and it is He who gives everything to us. So in a situation like that, we must start reflecting on what is it that we should do to go along Swami's path. I am tempted to start with uh, two small verses. One is the 
ఫస్ట్ ప్రార్థనా స్తోత్ర ఫ్రమ్ బృహదారణ్య కుపనిషత్ వి ఆల్ ఆర్ ఫెమిలియర్ విత్ ఇట్ ఐ విల్ రిసైట్ ఇట్ అండ్ బ్రీఫ్లీ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఓం అసతోమా సద్గమయ తమసోమా జ్యోతిర్గమయ మృత్యోర్మా అమృతంగమయ ఓం శాంతి 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 ఇట్స్ అ ప్రేయర్ టు దట్ స్పిరిట్ విచ్ సేస్ టేక్ మీ ఫ్రమ్ ద అన్రియల్ టు ద లియల్ టేక్ మీ ఫ్రమ్ డార్క్నెస్ టు లైట్ and take me from death to immortality it's a prayer meaning that you take me along the right path and show me a particular end that i am going to go to taking a cue from that i am going to recite another shloka it's called ek shloki it is only one verse the entire composition is one verse of course the author is a bhagavad pad adi shankar acharya కిం జ్యోతిస్తవ మానుభానమహని మే రాత్రౌ ప్రదీపాదికం స్యాదేవం రవిదీర్పదర్శన విధౌ కిం జ్యోతిరాఖ్యాహి మే చక్షుష్టస్య నిమీలనాది సమయే కిం ధీర్దియో దర్శనే కిం తత్రాహమతో భవాన్ పరమకం jyotis tadasmi prabho so beautiful composition in question answer form and i was uh, intrigued to hear the one of the bhajans where it is also in question answer form and the answer what i just now read is translated very simply like this it's a conversation between guru and the shishya and the guru says what is it that provides you light the shishya says by the day it is the sun and by the night it is a lamp very simple straight forward answer the guru stops there doesn't stop he says what is the light that sees the lights you are seeing the light what is the light that sees it then the shishya again answers mundanely and says guru ji it is the eye then the next question follows what is the light that illumines the eye the guru doesn't stop there he asks what is the light and the shishya intellectually answers oh guru it is the intellect or the buddhi then guru asks what is it that knows the intellect you saying intellect who knows the intellect and the shishya well trained by the guru says it is i and then the guru says therefore you are truly the light of lights and truly you must realize that tatvam asi it is you who is the light if you see swami's discourses and his writings innumerable locations swami says this swami says you are all sparks of the divine divyatma swarupalara he is emphasizing it again and again and again but you know we are all very slow learners we don't learn so fast especially when we have to learn very hard we don't learn that hard so it is time now for all of us to reflect a decade after swami has left us physically as to what is it that we can do to follow his path what is it that we can do to achieve the end that swami came into this world to teach us and to make us follow the path which will give us a blissful existence and a safe exit and punaravrutti rahita shashvata brahma loka how can we get it that we can get only by looking at swami's teachings and following swami's teachings so with this in mind what is the central trust doing is something a question which will arise the satisai central trust was set up on 2nd of september 1972 over 50 years ago by bhagwan the annual report for the year 2223 is shortly going to be placed before bhagwan i request all my co trustees to come for that purpose but before we do that i want to give a few little background of what work has gone on there has been no change in the trustees we now have eight trustees we have several institutions which are allied to the central trust there are institutions which are run directly by the central trust they are the schools the nursing college and uh, a few other institutions who are supported by us they are the uh, satyasai institute of higher learning which runs the university the satyasai media center the satyasai vidyavahini the center for human values and the institute of higher learning 
and part of it is the CRIF. Now, apart from all this activity directly run by the Central Trust, we have the Satisai organization and we have the Global Council. As all of you are aware, the organization out of India is organized as the Satisai, Sri Satisai Global Council. And my colleague uh, uh, Sri Nivesh Pandyaji is going to say a few words about it. The Global Council has become a vibrant organization now with centers from all over the world being part of it. And after the COVID, large number of projects have been taken up in different parts of the world, which is going to be shared with you shortly, a little later. What are the activities of the Central Trust? Now, Central Trust is uh, collaborating with many institutions, including the government of uh, Andhra Pradesh. And all of you might have heard about this. A huge mega project, the Satisai Central Trust is partnering with the state of Andhra Pradesh by providing ragi flower and jaggery which feeds 3.8 million students. <laughs> there are 44,392 schools in 26 districts in the state of Andhra Pradesh, which are now the beneficiaries of the project that they, we have partnered with uh, the Andhra Pradesh state government. This is a mega project which is launched in this year. And all of you might have heard of the Satisai Divya Smriti Digital Museum that was set up in Vrindavan. Those of you who have not seen it, I honestly urge you to go and see it. It's a beautiful mu uh, museum with a lot of interactive uh, messages about Swami, his life and uh, his teachings and, and there are beautiful visuals and there's a nice uh, uh, video that is shown there in a three-dimensional kind of video in three different floors. One more important environment as a, a project that has been taken up is the Sri Satyasai Prematharu. The object is to reach a target of 10 million trees to be planted in the course of this year. I think that's going to be a kind of a record which we are hoping to achieve. <clears throat> Partiyatras have now become a regular feature. And the average number of people we are getting during Parthi Yatras is somewhere between 3,000 to 5,000 visitors. And we can see the devotional fervor of all of them coming here together, staying a few years in Swami Sanidhi, enjoying the ambience of the ashram and showing their devotion to Bhagwan. Several other social projects that have been taken up have yielded a great deal of uh, benefits. Uh, solar panels that we have instituted in different places leading to a saving of 22 crores in electricity bill itself is a fantastic initiative, I think. New hospital equipment have come in, new research projects have been taken up, and Satyasai Vidya Vahini has got over 1,000 volunteers, and I'm happy to say that the government of India has also asked the Vidya Vahini scheme to partner with them in making this reach out to the entire country where we're already not working. The great advances of technology have helped the Satisai Media Center, Radio Sai, to reach out to the world. And if I give you the numbers, you will wonder if this is true. The number of views that we are seeing is 5.5 crore views on YouTube, which is 55 million. Facebook views are 4 million views. And 41 lakh views is what we are seeing on the website. I mean, these numbers are stupendous, which means that Swami's message is going to every nook and corner of the world, whoever they may be, wherever they may be, they are seeing Swami's message. And I must compliment the media team headed by Sundar for the fantastic coverage that they're taking out. My day doesn't start till I read Sai Inspires and I hear Bhajan a day. That's the starting of my day, usually around 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. And that's how my day begins. And I'm sure many of them in the world are using the same facility every day to connect with Swami, to look at Swami, to enjoy the bliss of the darshan and the great programs that are happening here. And of course, the music and other events that take place here. So I think we have reached out to everybody. I have not touched in my report about the Sai organization, which Mr. Nimesh Pandya is going to say, because stupendous amount of work has been done by them. Coming to some uh, very simple financials, we had an income of about 186 crores in the last year, 
which is a revenue income and we had a corpus income of another 35 crores rupees making it 221 crores in the one year we had a capital expenditure of about 30 crores as you know we are replacing equipment we are adding new facilities we are adding buildings we are adding uh, laboratories and so many other things that have go along with it and the revenue expenditure on four or five heads comes to about 161 crores of rupees in one year the majority of it more than half of it is going towards medical expenses because all of you are aware that we have uh, swami has got uh, two super specialty hospitals two general hospitals we have a mobile hospital we have a nursing college which is attached to the hospital so this is a large part of the expenditure that is being incurred by the central trust on the field of education, on the schools and the universities and the support that is given to the Satsai Institute of Higher Learning, we are spending about 41 crores of rupees. There are a number of projects for uh, poor that has been taken up for feeding and etc. It takes a small amount of 4 crores. And uh, the total expenditure of all of this comes to about 158 crores. You will notice that the administration expenses which includes the salaries that we pay in the, the ashram and all other administration expenses of the trust comes to hardly 20 crores of rupees which is a very very minimal amount compared to any other trust so your trust is functioning well the trust is conservative when it comes to expenditure of money on itself the trust is spending more and more on the facilities that it is offering what is it that medical uh, side we have realized is something which you can look at there were 31 lakh outpatient departments, outpatient patients that were seen in one year, 31 lakh, that's 3.1 million. The mobile hospital saw another 50,000 patients seen in one year. The educational side, the number of students who benefited from this is about 4,500 students who were provided free education. If you look at all the educational institutions, the Swamis. Number of new initiatives taken by the university, by the new vice chancellor are bearing fruit. And we now see that a fantastic amount of change has come about with it. We have new members on the trust. We have new members in the board of management. And I'm happy to say that the university has taken all steps to go forward and to achieve what Swami had in his mind as a goal. And the object is to increase the number of students studying here and several measures are now in the offing. With these words, I'd like to conclude by praying to Bhagawan. Bhagawan, continue to please bless us. Continue to ensure that we are given the energy, the devotion and the will to continue to do our service in your path. Please continue to bless us and bless all the devotees and all of us who are together in this endeavor. The only hope that we have is that if we try to live in Swami's path, we are going to go towards Him and we are going to reach the goal which He has set for us. The goal that He has set for us is the ultimate realization that we are all divine and that there is no distinction of any kind, and that we are all brothers and sisters and we must look at everybody with the same amount of love and compassion that is expected of us within the family. These words, I thank all of you and I uh, respectfully submit to Bhagwan that we are placing this report at your divine feet to kindly accept the same. I request our fellow trustees to please come and uh, place the report at the divine lotus feet.
ओम श्री साई राम प्रणाम जब द डिवाइन लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान ऑन ऑन दिस ऑस्पिशियस डे ऑफ द नाइन्टी एथ बर्थडे ऑफ आर बेलवेड मास्टर ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द एंटायर मैन काइंड ऑन द फेस ऑफ दिस अर्थ I offer salutations at his divine lotus feet because Prashanti Nilam is the home to the entire mankind irrespective of color caste creed or religion every human being has the right and the privilege to be at the divine lotus feet of Prashanti Nilam because this is the place where the divine master the master of the entire cosmos chose to take the divine form and invest in this beautiful prashanti nilam the entire power of the cosmos to radiate from here all over the world at all times it is a great privilege for all of us to know and realize that this is the constant source of that divine energy that constantly radiates in every nook and corner of the world and this source is the most authentic source and no technology no intelligence can ever clone this energy that emanates from here and whoever wishes to bathe in the divine energy has to come at the divine feet of bhagwan at prashant nilayam <laughs> the day is not far as we are on the annual of the centenary celebration that the entire mankind the sea of love the sea of yearning the sea of seeking peace the sea of mankind that seeks love will assemble in prashant nilayam and that is a vision we are all are destined to see very very soon dear brothers and sisters it is said that there are only two big occasions in a man's life one is when he or she is born as a human being and the second is when he or she realizes the purpose of his or her goal in life with the grace of bhagwan we are all here as human beings at least in the physical form but we are all blessed because bhagwan chose us to be here and give us a spark of that ex- experience of what the goal of life is but the best part is that in our life it is not the one day when we come to realize what our goal is here the compassionate lord is calling us every moment every year 98 years we have been coming here to remind ourselves what the goal of our life is the radiation from here to spread all over the world all of us have a very important role if you go back to the years of the amphitheater there used to be a drama on the stage there were no mics there was no technology but every dialogue that was said on the stage would be repeated by the first line of the audience the second line of the audience the third line of the audience therefore i think this is the time where all of us put together have to resonate repeat and practice everything that the master said in this divine precincts and that is the duty cast upon all of us as we go whichever corner of the world or the country we are it is our duty to resonate to repeat to react and to practice and inspire people as we go down the line here we just don't come to take because he always gives there is no question of asking here the commitment is that whatever he gives we carry with us and see it all over the world and that is the commitment that we take back from your brothers and sisters it is said that it is a birthday and normally the trend is that we give gifts to the person whose birthday is being celebrated but here the question is what have we got to give him we have nothing when everything belongs to him but here is the birthday boy who every second is a birthday and every second he is giving us gifts after gifts after gifts for carrying us so that we can carry it back home we need to remind ourselves all the time brothers and sisters that the only gift he ever wanted 
The only gift he ever wanted was our pure hearts. And when you say pure hearts, he has defined it very well. The heart that focuses only on him. The heart that is resplendent of the energy of love, born out of practice, not out of knowledge only, not out of intelligence only. But sheer practice on a day-to-day -day basis, that is the nature of the heart that Bhagavan wants. He wants the heart that is filled, which practices the maxim of love all and serve all, help ever and hurt never. Speaking for myself, for years and years we have come to Prashanti Nilayam. We've read this, we've heard this, we've sung this, we've said it, we've given speeches on it, we've written articles on it. But I think somewhere down the line, we have to ask ourselves, have we really practiced it? Have we really practiced it on a day-to-day -day basis? Have we loved everyone? Have we helped everyone? Have we served everyone? Have we ever hurt anyone? These are real questions that need to be answered every birthday, every second, the Lord is one. And none of us are exemptions to it. Whatever may be the hierarchy, whatever may be our status in life, each one is individually answerable to our master on these four parameters of love all, serve all, help ever, hurt never. What do we do and what is the way forward? The Sri Satisai Seva organizations, India, the organizations of all over the world, all under the one umbrella of the Sri Satisai Global Council. Members who are part of this organization, people who are associated with this organization, have a paramount duty to practice. To practice and practice. Keep the mouth shut and be in practice is really the maxim. And what do we do? What do we practice? We need to understand. I remember in the olden days, again, when there was no technology, there used to be stages and dramas. But in those days, there were not many actors. So one actor used to come on the stage and declare to the audience, please note, if I come from this side, I am Rani Pingala. And if I come from this side, I am Raja Bharsari. The same actor. So you have to imagine as the drama goes that if he comes from this side, it is Rani Pingla, and if he comes from this side, it is Raja Bharthari. In this cosmic drama of Bhagwan, the situation is not different, brothers and sisters. If you look inside, it is only Bhagwan, and if you look outside, it is a variety of artists that are performing on the stage of this earth. Mostly we look outside and enjoy the drama which is happening outside. But Swami came to remind us, look inside because that's where the one director, one actor, one producer, one editor, one story writer, one singer in all forms is only one and that is Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. <laughs> and we don't say this for rhetoric. We don't say this because we want to say it and be happy about hearing it. Essentially, in the entire sadhana path that Bhagwan has given us, He's given us this one mandate. Go inside and see that I am everywhere. Go inside and see that you are no one. Go inside and see that don't claim anything that is happening in your life. Surrender everything to Bhagwan. Know that the real doer is Bhagwan. He reminds us that the real problem, these years and lives and lives that goes between you and emergence with him, we can pray to merge, but we need to act to merge also. And the action to merge is to see that we surrender to him. Therefore, the Satisai Global Council, all elements of this Global Council and all organizations in the country have committed themselves that today we are not going to land into any debate. We don't want the intellect to interfere in our journey at his divine lotus feet. And there is only one command that we will follow, irrespective of any debate, just follow what he says, just follow what he commands. Karishye Vachanam Tava is the path as we go forward to the centenary celebrations of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. We do not want to claim doership. We do not want to say that I did it. The path of sadhana for all the participants on the platform of the Sri Satya Sai Seva organization is to understand that the path forward is to efface the self, establish the master, 
and surrender to himself. The story of Gita also is a great reminder to us. After all the gyan, after all the lectures that Krishna gave Arjuna, Arjuna understood half or didn't understand anything. So is the case with all these Arjuna sitting here. But at the end of it, that question on Arjuna's face and Swami had to say very lovingly, don't worry. At the end of it, just do what I am saying and that is enough as we go further in life. And that is the real essence. We've complicated life in a great way. We've complicated Bhagwan in a great way. And therefore, Bhagwan had to remind us that everything in the world is complicated. God alone is simple. And his simple path indicated by him to us, I think is a commitment that we need to offer at the Divine Lotus Feet today in terms of practice. Let all of us who had the benefit of having the grace of Bhagwan understand that all of us who were there in the physical, when Swami was here in the physical form, need not be very proud about that fact. Because today the reality is, a decade after the Mahasamadhi, there are many, many more people coming to Prashanti Nilayam who have never seen Swami and never heard of Bhagawan. <laughs> the power of the Master, the power of the Lord is to be understood in that magnitude as we go further. The organization is a lovely platform where the only goal is to ensure that our individual one-to-one -one relationship with Bhagawan gets strengthened on a second-to-second -second basis. Before the last breath comes and the eyes close, the understanding and the experience of divinity within is the real goal. Otherwise, everything else can be useless in faith. I always tell the younger people that ensure that you make friends with God yourself. Because at the end of life, when your eyes close, Ensure that you only see God at that last time in the last birth. Every other attachment is going to take you away from God when the last breath comes. And when the last breath comes, nobody, no human being will be with you except you and your master is the ultimate mandate that Bhagwan has given the secret to us. From the perspective of the centenary celebrations, I must congratulate all the zonal presidents of all the countries in the world who have come under the umbrella of the Sri Satisai Global Council. It's been a great effort, and an effort in the right direction, that all the countries of the world now, barring a few people who still can't make up their minds, and very unfortunately so, that Prashanti Nilayam is the base, and nobody on the earth, and today's time, who wants to seek salvation, can not be attached to Prashanti Nilayam. And that factor is underlined. And this factor is growing by strength, by strength, every year in every nook and corner of the world. The world organizations, wherever they may be, America, Africa, the East, the West, the North, the South, the youth in these countries have now been energized to an unbelievable extent. They have come up with great fervor and great love for Bhagwan. The organizations, the people, the devotees in all these countries have taken up huge projects. In some countries, like ours, where there are villages, they've taken up village work, water projects. The Narayan Seva, the serving of the food for the poor, in any nook and corner of the world you go, you will find a Narayan Seva project. Bhajan singing, sadhana camps are an amazing, uh, or again, amazing uh, sort of list of things that my brothers and sisters from abroad, they do that. In fact, the Global Council, the Executive Committee of the Overseas Committee is a very, very active thing. And the Global Council for the Overseas, by the time we reach the centenary celebration, is going to be an organization worth looking up to as we go further, when hundreds and thousands of people from all over the world are going to be a part of this system. In India, what do I say? The land where Swami chose to come in the physical form whether it is Sikkim or Manipur, whether it is Kashmir, Ladakh, Punjab, Rajasthan, or the central part of Madhya Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, or come to Bengal, come down to Maharashtra, come down to Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Karnataka, Kerala, each and every part of this country, I don't think there are any districts left out where there is no presence of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba.
the committed work of all the state presidents, the state coordinators, and all the zonal presidents who helped me in this work as the All India President, I must congratulate all of them that for the lovely work they've done till today in the last year. And the programs which have been planned for the next two, three years have an amazing capacity to make, create a platform for many, many more people to join. And therefore, I take this opportunity today, standing in the divine precincts of Prashant and Ilyam, to urge every mankind, wherever you are, in whichever corner, please utilize the gift of the platform of the Sri Satsai Seva organization and embark upon it, join it, use it, because this opportunity will never come again in your life if you miss it now. And regret is not always a good thing to do in life. Acting at the given moment right now is the right decision. Who takes the right decision now succeeds rather than lamenting later on. I will tell you, millions of young children who joined the Balvikas are an amazing future that Swami has already laid the foundation. You will find as the years go by that many of my colleagues here from the colleges will have no place to sit because there will be many, many more younger people coming to sit here and that's the time probably all of us will be sitting behind and dreaming. Yesterday, I know one of my students here who was your university student, as the drama was going on, he was looking stark because I know he also had participated in a lot of dramas that happened here. But now that he was sitting as an audience, his heart was there, but the place is not there because time has gone by. Time and tide wait for no one, brothers and sisters. Therefore, let's make the use of what is today. That is the offering to Bhagavan Jesus Sai Baba. In India, the medical activity, the disaster management activity, the skill development activity, the Balvikas, the education, the spiritual wing are growing leaps and bounds. The disaster management team of all the states of India deserve kudos because the Indian Army, the Indian Police, the CRPF all have recognized that the disaster management team of the Sri Satsai Seva organization has the best training program, which is even recognized by the entire country. The skill development program, the skill development program with more than 300 centers all over the country and planning to reach higher numbers as we go further, are an eye-opener for all the skill development ministries of all the states of India and the country of India. When the ministers hear about this, they tell their secretaries, please go and learn, see what is happening there. That is the power of Swami's devotees who get inspired by Bhagwan and do unbelievable things. The medical activity in India, I was just amazed by what Brother Nagarajan was telling me about the hospitals. But I want to share for the benefit of all the people. The paramedical devotees, the doctor devotees who are consistently doing medical camps of all specialties and ordinary camps, static camps, mobile medical vans, all put together. If one has to make an assessment of the market value of this service which is being done, it crosses over 40 crores of rupees every year. And that also without CSR. It is the people's money, their time, their commitment, the money which they spend for medicines from their own pocket. And that's what the power of Swami's love can do to people. I think this is what is to be recognized. As we go further, you are aware that the dream is to ensure that the Sri Satya Sai Balvikas movement, which is so dear to Bhagwan, is now time to showcase it to the world as the only answer to true education, where the relationship between the teacher and the student is one-to-one. -one. The teacher becomes the mother and father for the student. And this little gurukula which Swami started is going to be the basis of the education transformation that the world will see, not only India. Uravakonda, the place where the whole magic started. The Satsai organization of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana have now committed themselves to see that by the centenary celebration, with the help of the Central Trust, we would have redone the entire Uruvarakonda temple because that's where every devotee on the face of this earth, when he comes to Prashantanilam, will have to go there to see how simply, how beautifully, how in an easy manner Swami showed the path to salvation, which is the beginning of that whole saga of love that happens. I have also the great privilege to 
announce that the youth of the world are all ready to assemble in Prashant and Elam next year. And before that, I also want to share with you that as a centenary project, the Shri Satsai organization, with the benevolence of the Shri Satsai Central Trust, has now committed to ensure that by the centenary, we will have one lakh artificial limbs donated free of charge to the people who need it in all the parts of the country. And that is the one thing that we need to do. And finally, as I mentioned, the future is the youth of the world. The youth that come now, after a decade of the Mahasamadhi, are an amazing lot of young men and women, brothers and sisters. I remember last time when we had the All India Youth Camp here, Brother Ratnakar and myself, when we were addressing them, Ratnakar had an opportunity to ask them. There were like three, three and a half thousand, four thousand people. And we asked them, Ratnakar asked them, he says, how many of you have come here for the first time? What do you think was the answer? 90% of those 4,000 people had come to Prashantilyam for the first time and had never seen the physical form of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. <laughs> Today we have 6,000 office bearers, young men and women throughout the country and many more abroad. And we have 50,000 active youth who are a part of the Satsai organization. And I think that is the grace of Bhagwan. Bhagwan always loved young people. Bhagwan loved students. Bhagwan had great faith of investing his time and energy in the younger people. And that saga continues today. And therefore, before I end, I have this great privilege to announce that in the July of 2024, we shall have the first World Youth Conference. And that World Youth Conference will be in Prashant and Lilium on the theme of rejoice and uh, sort of... Uh, Connect, reconnect, rejoice, and enjoy. This theme will be the theme for the first World Youth Conference happening in July of 2024. As we go down the line, many more events with the grace of Bhagwan and with his permission we shall lay. So that the only idea is not to create more uh, activities or more events. But every such activity and event is only an instrument for the millions of young men and women to come forward and earn the grace of Bhagwan Shri Sai Baba. I have now to request the three international youth leaders to present the brochure at the Divine Lotus Feet so that the planning and action on that can begin. With these few words, I offer my gratitude to Bhagwan for giving me this opportunity and I wish that every human being on the face of this earth earns the grace of Bhagwan by following in one dictum that is Karishye Vachanam Tava. Jai Sai Ram. Om Shri Sai Ram. We thank both the esteemed elders for the words of wisdom and inspiration. On this auspicious morning, we'll now be blessed with Bhagwan's divine discourse. Sai Ram. Embodiments of love. The whole universe is full of love. Love is wealth. Love is righteousness. Love is truth. The whole universe depends on this love. Man is not able to know the nature of love. Man is not able to know 
పవిత్రమైన దివ్యమైనటువంటి యొక్క ప్రేమను విస్మరిస్తూ ఉన్నాడు ఈ స్కారిడ్ అవే బై ద హోమ్స్ ఇన్ ద ఫ్యాన్సెస్ ఆ ద మోమెంటరీ ట్రాన్షియంట్ వేస్ ఆఫ్ ద వరల్డ్ అండ్ ఫర్గెట్ దట్ ఎటర్నల్ డివినిటీ కారణం ఏమిటి వాట్ ఇస్ ద రీజన్ స్వార్థము పెరిగినది పరార్థము తరిగినది selfishness is rampant and ever increasing while spirituality is on the decline sankuchita bhavamulu periginavi vishala bhavamulu tariginavi the narrow mindedness is increasing while the broad mindedness is is on the decline aasalu periginavi aasayalu tariginavi desires are increasing but the ideals are on the decline manavattamu kevalamu swarthamu sapriyojanamu chetane jeevitamunu nadupuntunnadi the human life is spent throughout in selfishness and self interest prachina maharshulu the ancient rishis chagamunake pattam gattu vacharu they have coronated the spirit of sacrifice dharmamune andalam ekkincharu it is only righteousness that is decorated chagamunake kiritam darincharu it is the sacrifice that has been put on satchani swagatham chesaru and they have welcomed that sacrifice itti divyamaina tundi bharat deshamunandu ఈనాడు ఈ యొక్క దివ్యమైన భావములను మర్చిపోయినా ఇన్ దిస్ కంట్రీ ఆఫ్ భారత్ విచ్ ఇస్ డివైన్ ద డివినిటీ ఇస్ ఫర్గాటన్ కనుకనే ప్రతి దినము కూడాను అనేక విధములైనటువంటి యొక్క అవస్థలతో కుళ్ళి కుమిలి కూలిపోతున్నది ఈ జగత్తు ఇట్ ఇస్ ఫర్ దిస్ రీజన్ ద హోల్ వరల్డ్ ఇస్ ఫుల్ ఆఫ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఎజిటేషన్స్ అండ్ టెన్షన్స్ ప్రేమ లేనటువంటి హృదయము కేవలం ప్రేత భూమియే in fact the heart bereft of love is a barren land ee prema pavitram antante yokka divyatvanni nirupinche tante de it is the love that proves and demonstrates the sacred divinity sarvatra nindi unnatundi prema okkatiye it is this love which is pervasive all over ee prema ne prati manavuni kudunu ekatvanga nirupinche chestunnadi it is this love that unifies mankind manavuni yendunnatundi divyatvamu మానవుని ఎందున్నటువంటి స్వార్థ స్వరూపములు ఏనాడు దివ్య భావముగా మార్చును ఆనాడే ఈ ఏకత్వమనే ప్రేమము ప్రకాశిస్తూ ఉంటుంది కనుక ప్రతి మానవుడు కూడా హృదయములో ప్రేమను నింపుకోవాలి ప్రేమ రూపము బ్రహ్మంబు ప్రేమయము ప్రేమ ప్రేమతో సంధింపని మమగును గాడ్ ఈజ్ లవ్ లవ్ ఈజ్ గాడ్ దేర్ షుడ్ బి కనెక్షన్ లవ్ కాదు ప్రేమను గట్టిగా కలిగి ఉన్న అద్వితీయము నొందంగా అర్హుడగును అద్వితీయము పొందంగా arhudagunu when once he strengthens his love he will be eligible to enjoy the state of non dualism ee prema tattvanni prati manavudu kuda nu gurtinchi vartinchadamu ee naati atyavasaram it's most essential today that everyone should know the spirit and the nature of love and conduct on himself not be sought after outside yogam chetanu vyaparam chetanu janamunu prabhu chestunnadu he must as well by undertaking an employment or a job adhe vidhamugane nijanga manavudu aanandanni pondavannante ee yokka prema chetane ee prema dhananni manam penchukovali in order to grow in the spirit of bliss you have to improve this property of love neevu aneka vidhamainatundi ee yokka prema tattvanni nee satya tattvanni nee dharma tattvanni neevu kevalam oka company lo neevu pettukuntunnavu in fact you have invested this noble property of love which is all through insurance company lo neevu pettukuntunnavu you have invested it in insurance company, company lo pettukuntunnavu invested in other company lo pettukuntunnavu kaani ee company ni enatiki nee shastram enukunte kaadu none of these companies are ever permanent kaani nee sarvasvam enukunte yokka bhagavat prema anetundi company lo neevu dinni nimpu therefore deposit in the divine love once for all nee deposit ekkadiki podu your deposit will last ee forever ee deposit ku double 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 ga perigi potuntuntadi for your deposit will get double and double and double interest kanukune neevu pettavalsinatundi bank lo nee hudayam anitundi prema bank lo neevu pettali therefore your heart is the bank where the love has to be deposited ee prema bank lo lekunda asthiramainatundi 
అనాస్ అసెస్మెంట్వి ఇలాంటి బ్యాంకుల్లో పెట్టడం చేత బ్యాంకులు ఏనాడైనా కూడా నిర్మూలమైపోతున్నాయి ఆన్ ద హ్యాండ్ ఇఫ్ యు డిపాజిట్ ఎల్స్ వేర్ యుల్ బి యువర్ బౌండ్ టు ది బ్యాంక్ ఇట్ జరగవచ్చును కానీ ఈ ప్రేమ అనేటువంటి హృదయంలో ఈ యొక్క దొంగతనం చేయడానికి వీలు కాదు నన్ కెన్ స్టీల్ లవ్ ఫ్రమ్ యువర్ హార్ట్ ఇంపాసిబుల్ ఇన్సూరెన్స్ చేయటం లోపల మన ఇన్సూర్ అది షూర్ then once you pay the premium in insurance Kaan you make sure in insure the property of the bank will insure just to not on the other hand you in insure and insure in insure. this world it is temporary no but in any exactement but the sure go to that such thing out to that wow what is surety here insure is insurance bashya bank will call the manaku not the outer bank manam ye yokka premani ekkada manam nimpovali ye bank lo kattukovali in which bank should we deposit la hrudayamu ane atuvanti bank lo kattukunte deeniki tarapulu levu bigamulu levu watchman ledu if you deposit this law in the bank of your heart ye which has no doubt for what you know satya mai nitya mai kadalaka melalaka untuntadi because this eternal permanent it doesn't change or waver amrita swarupam unnaru that is immortal ee amrita swarupam kante adhikamaina kodi prema swarupam love is beyond this amrutamu amrutamu amrutam ani mem bhavistunnamu we go by nectar amrutam ee amrutamu prakrutamaina kodi jeevithaniki saarthakam gaavistundi this is necessary for this mundane world kaani prakrutamaina kodi jeevaku idi konta ruchini kaligistundi certainly you'll relish kaani hrudayanike ruchi kaliginchee tondi ee premaamrutamu that which appeals to your heart is the nectar of love kalukane ee naadi ee premaamrutam goldaniki prathi manavudu kuda nu kankanam kattukovali therefore everyone should determine to have this nectar of love ee naadu manamu పట్టం కట్టవలసినటువంటిది త్యాగానికి పట్టం కట్టాలి వాట్ ఈస్ టు బి కరోనేటెడ్ టుడే ఇట్ ఇస్ సాక్రిఫైస్ ఈ ప్రేమకు త్యాగమునకు పట్టం కట్టినప్పుడే ప్రేమను స్వాహం స్వాహం చేయడానికి వీలు అవుతుంది దెన్ వన్స్ యు హావ్ దిస్ సాక్రిఫైస్ యు కెన్ వెల్కమ్ లవ్ అప్పుడే మన యొక్క శక్తి సామర్థ్యములు విజృంభించి పోతుంటాయి దెన్ యు విల్ ఇంక్రీజ్ యువర్ స్ట్రెంగ్త్ ఇన్ యువర్ కెపాసిటీ నేను తలంచినప్పటికీ అది తక్షణమే మనకు ఫలసిద్ధి కాంపిస్తుంది వాట్ ఎవర్ యు డు యు ఆర్ బౌండ్ టు బి సక్సెస్ఫుల్ ఈ అత్యధిక గావించినటువంటి హృదయానికి ఏ నాడు కూడాను అశాంతి అయినటువంటి కాని అనానుకూలమైనటువంటి కాని అసంతోషమైనటువంటి ఎక్కడికి ఎప్పటికి ప్రాప్తించదు where there is this total surrender there will be no dissatisfaction there will be no failure in any point నిరంతరం చెప్పునే వేదములు న కర్మణ న ప్రజయ తనేన jage reeti amrutattva manasu onni basing on this veda said no position no authority no association no position can give you as much as that of sacrifice that is very much needed today premamayundu sri darudu god is love premaye aatani divya roopamu love is his form a prema ఒకింతయైన వివరింపదలేక జగత్తునందు వి ఆర్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ దిస్ లవ్ ఈవెన్ ఎ ఫ్రాక్షన్ ఇన్ దిస్ వర్ల్డ్ పదార్థమే టు చేపురుమయ్య హౌ డు యు ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ టు రీచ్ ఇట్ అండ్ అక్వైర్ ఇట్ మానవ ఓ మ్యాన్ నో దిస్ నీవు ఆ ప్రేమను నీవు పొందినప్పుడే తట్టలో ఉన్న పదార్థం కూడాను పొట్టలేక చేరాలంటే నోటికి చేతికి పని పెట్టాలి కదా in order to partake food you should do some work you work to the hand ah prema ni sanipinde unnadi ah prema ni nee penni cheyi unnadi nee samipamande untunnadi that love is your property it is so close to you kaani nee anubhavinchadaniki tagina prayatnam cheyatam ledhi you are not exerting making an effort to collect and endure tattalo pettukoni potato chapati potato chapati potato chapati ani noor pariyam chepte gari potta nindutunda potato chapati served on the plate you may repeat 100 times ledhi it never reach to tisko nootlo pettuko collect it in your hand and bondu to bingu ee oka udayam sampurthiga nindutundi masticate and swallow then your hunger will be peace ee vaishwanaradu sarvatra supply cheyinchi meeku sarva shaktini kuda nu chekurustadu vaishwanara god within will digest assimilate the food and supply the sense to the body divyamaina prema mana chuttu untundadi so divine love encircles you aithe deenini chettu manam anubhavinchali you have to experience ee chettu anubhavinchatam ante emiti what does it mean ram krishna govinda narayan ee chettu pani cheyali namasmaranam chey you have to clap and then repeat god's name note to smarana cheyali you have to repeat god's name nijamugani bhagavantudu kavali anukunte prahladana vale nirantaram smarinchu om namo narayana om namo narayana om namo narayana if you really want god repeat god's name like prahlada om namo narayana radha meera veeri vale nee nirantaramu ganam chey 
you sing the glory of god like radha and meera jai devudu gauraangadulu tukaramu ishwara vanivu niram tarimkurunu bhagavantanni prarthisthura jai deva gauranga tukaram pray to god incessantly ramakrishnudu vale niram tarimkurunu aa yokka darshanam nimittamai vekki 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 yerchu appude tatcham nik prarthisthadu bhagavantudu you cry you pain you yearn for god like ramakrishna ee prakruti alpamainaatundi swalpamainaatundi vishayalaku kantidaralu kaarustunnaame kaani దైవానుగ్రహం నిమిత్తమై కంటి దారణ మనం కార్చటం లేదు యు షెట్ ఇయర్స్ ఫర్ దిస్ మీన్ లో వరల్డ్ ఇఫ్ పర్సూట్స్ బట్ నాట్ ఫర్ గాడ్ ఈ కంటి దారణ అనేటువంటి ఎట్ట వస్తున్నాయి హౌ డు యు షెడ్ యువర్ ఎందు రకం అయినటువంటి కంటి దారణ ఉంటున్నాయి టు టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ టియర్స్ ఆనంద భాష్మం ఒకటి శోక భాష్మం ఒకటి వన్ టియర్స్ ఆఫ్ జాయ్ ద అదర్ టియర్స్ ఆఫ్ సారో ఈ ఆనంద భాష్మం అనేటువంటిది అది ఏ భగవంతునికి అర్పితం చేయవలసినటువంటి ద టియర్స్ ఆఫ్ జాయ్ మస్ట్ బి ఆఫర్ టు గాడ్ రుక్మిణి చెప్పింది రుక్మిణి సెడ్ ఆ కృష్ణుని తూంచే నిమిత్తమై ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు వెయి కృష్ణ అక్కడికి వెళ్లి కృష్ణ నామమునకు కృష్ణ రూపమే కృష్ణ రూపమునకు కృష్ణ నామమే సరి అయినటువంటి చూకం అనుకుంది కృష్ణాస్ నేమ్ కృష్ణాస్ ఫామ్ వుడ్ బ్యాలెన్స్ పత్రము ఎలీ పుష్పమో ఫలము ఫ్రూట్ వాటర్ భక్తి జరిగిన వానికి వసుడవగుట సత్యమైన నీవు ఈ తులసి దళమునకు దుగుదుగాక ఇఫ్ యు రియలీ సబ్మిట్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ అండ్ రెస్పాండ్ టు ద వన్ విత్ డివోషన్ యూ సర్టన్లీ బ్యాలెన్స్ పవిత్రమైన పుట్టి గుణంతో చేరినటువంటి ప్రేమనే తులసి దళము ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ దట్ హార్ట్ విత్ లవ్ ఇస్ ది స్లీప్ ఆఫ్ తులసి కేవలం నామం చెప్పినంత మాత్రం నా రూపము సరి అయినటువంటి యొక్క తూకానికి రాదు by merely chanting the name it would not equal the form bhautikamain pet dehanni bhautikamain pet yokka naamamto you svarinchinanta maatram na thugadu you cannot balance it by chanting the physical form of it bhautikamain pet dehanni aprakutamain pet yokka naamam chetane idi thugutundi and therefore the physical body here and the dental name over there idi pravutti yokka lakshanamudu dehamu yokka lakshanamudu these are the qualities of the body naamam nivrutti yokka lakshanamu the name speaks of the inward part naadu samanjudu kaadu narada is not ordinary maa rukmini ఈ ప్రవృత్తి మార్గంలో నీవు పోతున్నావు కానీ నివృత్తికై ఈ కృష్ణుడు దూకుతాడు నారదా సెడ్ ఓ రుక్మిణి యు ఆర్ ప్రొసీడింగ్ అలాంగ్ ది అవుట్ వర్డ్ పాత్ ఈ ప్రవృత్తి మార్గంలో కృష్ణుడు తూగేటట్టుగా ఉంటే సత్యభామ కావాల్సినన్ని ఆభరణములు వేసింది కానీ తూగలేదే సత్యభామ ప్రొసీడ్ ఇన్ ది అవుట్ వర్డ్ ట్రెండ్ వాంటెడ్ టు వెయి ది లార్డ్ విత్ ది ఫిజికల్ ప్రాపర్టీ కనుక దీనికి తూగేటువంటి వాడగా కృష్ణుడు కృష్ణ వుడ్ నెవర్ బ్యాలెన్స్ అప్పుడు ఆమె చేతిలో ఉన్నటువంటి ఒక తులసి దళం తీసి కృష్ణ అని వేసి therefore she collected tulsi leaf while chanting krishna's name krishna namamu krishna roopanni samananga thunchindi and then she could find the balance between the name and the form of krishna ee tulsi dalamu extra weight aipoy and the tulsi leaf is an extra weight now kanukune krishnudu rukmini ki vasam aipoyadu therefore krishna could submit himself to rukmini tana kanaka vastu vahanalato bhagavantudu thugadu you can never measure lord with the physical property adhikaralato ti bhagavantudu thugadu nor by position of the world vidya medhavulato bhagavantudu thugadu not by your scholarship and intelligence prema cheta maatrame bhagavantudu thugagalu you can only weigh the lord with love yavariki invitation pampichamu who are invited here yavariki raavanu pilichamu who are asked to be here emi ledu nothing what a premane ఆ సున్నితమైన ప్రేమని ఒక మ్యాగ్నెట్ వలె అన్నిటిని ఆకర్షిస్తుంది ఇట్ ఈస్ ద టెండర్ సాఫ్ట్ డెలికేట్ మ్యాగ్నెట్ లవ్ ది మ్యాగ్నెట్ ఎందుకంటే శక్తి ఉంటుంది దేర్ ఇస్ పవర్ ఇన్ దిస్ మ్యాగ్నెట్ కొంతమంది ఇనుప ముక్కలను తీసుకోలేకుండా పోవటం చేత వాళ్ళు అనుకుంటారు నిజంగా ఈ శక్తి ఈ మ్యాగ్నెట్ లో ఉంటుంటే నన్ను ఎందుకు దగ్గర రాకూడదు some don't carry with them the iron filings therefore they are not drawn by the magnet kaadu kaadu ee magnet lo shakti undi there is power in the magnet kaani iron lo rust dust untundadi anduvalle aakarshinchukunde but that iron is dusted in the rusted therefore ah, rust is not dust nu clean chesi tappaga aakarshi remove the rust in the dust it is bound to be drawn adiye visheshavasalu adiye ragadveshamulu sensual pleasure adiye asuya abhavulu that is jealousy and envy when you are doing this where you are i am you are you are you are if you cleanse and purify yourself you may be anywhere you belong to bhagavan ekkade na untunu you may be adavula endunna you may be in the forest aakashamuna nunna or in space pattanamuna nunna ichi pallenunna village guttameeda nunna natcheta padiyunna dikkuleni vaani saayinomu if you are forlorn and needy bhagavan will come to your rescue ekkade na undu 
కుటుంబమే కాకుండా నీ పరివారం కూడాను నీ యొక్క పరిసర ప్రాంతంలో వారు కూడాను పవిత్రం చేయడానికి అవకాశం అవుతుంది హృదయము ప్రేమమయంగా మార్చుకోవడం the heart should be transformed in such a way that you will pull up la you don't need to offer meek telusu prashanthanamlo oka pushpamu oka kobbari kai gurunu nenlo allow cheyamu in prashanthanam you are not allowed to offer a flower ani konu mem ikkada pravesh pettamu no nothing is allowed here kaani oka premaku maatrame ikkada pravesh untundi there is entry for love ప్రేమ ముదిత మనసు రామ 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 రామ
प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्नसर्व 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 प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे 
ಸತ್ಯದೇವಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನ ಸರ್ವ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಸಾಯೀಶ್ವರಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ 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 ಸತ್ಯ 
ಸತ್ಯ ದೇವಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನ ಸರ್ವ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಸಾಯೀಶ್ವರಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ 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 ಸ 
ಸತ್ಯದೇವಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನ ಸರ್ವ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಸಾಯೀಶ್ವರಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ 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 ಸತ್ಯದೇವಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನ ಸರ್ವ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ
साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम 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 
साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात ओ 
साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात्